uh, from, for their articles, for their TV shows, for their interviews, for their radio broadcasts. However, if you've never been in the media before, it's unlikely they'll contact you. It's just too risky. They can't put you um, uh, in in a TV show interview if they see in your LinkedIn profile that you've never been in the media before. And they're not going to contact you and say, have you been in the media before? That's a lot of work for them. They're going to look for people that have cited in their LinkedIn profiles or in their picture that they've previously been in the media. And this is why major media leads to more major media. Case in point, uh, this is, it was a uh, nationally syndicated show, daytime TV, that I was on. I would never have gotten to be on this show on NBC without having prior media credentials. And so it's like it's, it's the, that catch-22 or the chicken and the egg. Well, how do I get on to NBC if, I don't ever, if I've never been on to one of the networks? That's what we're talking about here is the problem. You want to solve this problem because once I did this interview, I mean, this was seen by millions of people and brought thousands of people to my website and drove our whole business for several months from the one interview. So what's a shortcut to get yourself those media uh, um, citations? Really, in the beginning, you just want to get citations in the major media. And this is a site that you could use. It's called Top Recommended Professionals. Now, you have to be nominated to be a member of this site. And once you're nominated, you can pay them several thousand dollars. And what they'll do is they'll get you um, cited into the major media. And the way they do this is really cool. Uh, they get you cited into CBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox. This is what it looks like. It's them announcing you, and you get this citation where it's a quote from you, and they recognize you as a professional. So this is a way for you to get citations from the major news sources here. If you were to just do a press release on your own talking about yourself, the odds are that none of these four major news sites are going to pick it up because it's not newsworthy. You'd have to learn you know, news jacking techniques and things like that if you really wanted to try to get yourself picked up. But the way they do it uh, uh, is it's in them announcing you. That, that announcement is newsworthy. That's kind of the shortcut technique that they use where they can get anybody cited into the major media. I used this back then. Um, uh, and and um, I used a service like this. And, and I got quoted. And then I, once I got these quotes, I was able to put those pictures in my logo. And now people started coming to me. And not only did it lead to more business, but it led to me then getting picked up uh, by places like the Wall Street Journal, by places like CNN, uh, and by uh, places like um, the TV interview we were just talking about. Also, that's part of what led to my book deal and my Fast Company magazine feature. Once you're cited on their website, you then and only then do you have permission to use the media logos on all of your social profiles. And this is what it looks like once you've been cited, even if it's just a little quote like that on one of their sites. Uh, also, you're now seen as the quoted expert. This positions you to your customers. And it's something that your competition doesn't have. You're now perceived as the authority. And you'll stand out in the search results. When people search on LinkedIn, um, you, they're going to see you. They're going to see you as the one who has these uh, logos in your picture here. That's where you want to be. That's how you're going to get them to come in and look at your profile. So the authority logos, this is the most important thing you can do on LinkedIn. This trumps everything else because this is what starts it all off. There's lots of people that might teach you about different things to say and do in your profile, but nobody even comes and looks at your profile unless you first capture their attention with your photo. And the best by far way to do that, as we've seen and proven today, is by having the media logos in your picture. 